Rainy day here in LA, New Year's Eve, about to put in some work at the studio. Just got some black paint. We're gonna paint some walls and have some fun. Let's get it. All right, y'all, what's up? So we're in the studio, the Time Machine DTLA. Uh, I painted these walls white a while ago that used to be gray and painting them white like really brightened up the space. It's a little bit of a messy job, so I still have to go into like the corners and fix it up. But we have this wall right here that I am going to paint black. Um, as you can see, the door is super messy. The door was gonna be all black, but I haven't had the chance to paint it yet. And I just decided I'm gonna paint the whole thing black because I think it'll be a nice little accent wall in contrast to this white right here. Uh, and then right here, I eventually wanna do like a mural or art or something like that. Uh, I wanna find somebody that can do it. If not, I'm gonna try it myself. I think that'll be a fun experiment and a cool video idea is if I just like try painting a mural for the first time. And it's my studio, so if I don't like it, I can just paint right over it, you know what I mean? So we'll see about that, but I know for sure we're gonna paint this black. Um, but yeah, we're about to get into it. I'm gonna lay this down on the ground first. I'm gonna tape off the edges, the top, the bottom, and then we're just gonna roll it out. Let's get it. Tell me how you dream when they all tell you no. I was praying in a hallway, that's when every door was closed, uh, nice Uber to the plane, from the plane to the- A little bit of a rough surface, but uh, I already put some, uh, what was it called? What was the, the yeah. paint called? Filler? Yeah, like filler? Brick filler? Kind of. Basically, I used a special type of paint that is very thick that fills in all the little holes and gaps in the block, so. Um, yeah, it should be pretty easy to paint. I usually get very messy whenever I paint or do anything, really, so uh, let's see how clean I can keep my workspace today. All right, let's do it. Time let's to get the it. first paint going. Let's see how it goes on. Oh, yeah. Nice, looking good, looking good. It's black going on white, so it's probably definitely gonna need a few coats, you know what I mean? And, Touch ups with the. With the oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait a minute. I feel like I probably should have gotten it. Wait, I have a different brush that I'm gonna. or a thing that I'm gonna. Okay, baby. <laughs> I think this one's gonna be a lot better. It's a lot thicker, so it can go into all of the gaps. You know? Boom. All right, so you see the difference between this one and this one. This one's a lot thinner, so it can't really reach like inside of the, the gaps as much as this one should be able to. Because this is the one that I used to paint the white, so probably makes sense that I should use this one again. So let's, let's try, let's try, let's try. Yeah. Whoa! That's so looking a lot better. Big difference, right? Big difference. Now that we know this is the one, two. Alright y'all, first coat is done. Check it out, it's looking pretty good. Obviously you've gotta see what it looks like when it dries. And then after the second coat, I think it'll be perfect. I'm loving the door. The door was like bothering me for so long just cause it was so messy. And it was like a really shiny black, but now that it's like this flat, it's a lot nicer. So we're gonna do a couple more coats on the door for sure. The walls, probably, I think just one more will be fine. Okay, so this, we just spent some time reorganizing this, so we just made it a little more efficient. We took one of these vanity areas from over there and just put it over here. That way, this is just the dedicated get ready area, and it's out of the way of everybody um, in production setting up the set. On to the theater. We're trying to figure out what to do here. Um, I like the idea of, like, table and chairs and making it look like you have an audience here. And yeah, this, this room doesn't need too much. People love this one. I might want to add like some spotlights like coming from the corners to like backlight or even the spotlight from like right here too. Because people always ask for spotlights. All right, so right here, I want to paint this wall the color of the curtains, put some wood wainscoting on the bottom and then there's a window behind it that's cut out. 
make the window look like the windows from my first studio. Um, like colorful and then have some light from the other side shining through it. All right, so over here in the diner, this is again, one of the most popular sets that we have right now. The problem is the floor gets dirty really quickly. So I want to replace this with some ceramic tiles. Right now, this is just like cheap vinyl flooring. So I want to get some ceramic and it's not too expensive either. It's like mm -hmm. probably around the same price. Uh, so I just need to get help installing it. So once I do that, I'm gonna install it here and hopefully it'll be a lot easier to maintain. And then same thing here, probably just either continue the checker all the way down or just make that all white ceramic. She's shaking her head no to the checker. So probably go all white ceramic. And then, I don't know, figure out a way to spice this up mm. even more. Maybe add some like string likes to it. Maybe mm. more disco balls. Um, people love this one, but to me, I think we can even spice it up a little bit more. Right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll figure that out. I want to eventually mm. recreate this to be even better now that I have a little bit more of an idea of what I'm doing. Lots to be done here. It's been working so far, but you know, I want to make it better. And I was telling mm -hmm. her like making it better doesn't necessarily even lead to like a direct ROI. It's not like the littlest mm -hmm. thing is going to like automatically make me a ton more money. It's just like super fulfilling um, to be on a journey to make this place the best that it can be. And I always want to make sure I'm just staying on top of it and not uh, just neglecting it and being okay with what it is because if I'm going to do it, might as well do it to the fullest. So yeah, there's a ton to be done here. And before I open up other studios, I just want to make this the best that it can be first. And then we'll talk about that, but lots to get done here. I think that's a wrap for tonight. We're going to come back tomorrow and finish painting this up and put the new set right here.